Hello guys, you welcome back to the Canvas Service with King Benji. Chico, chico, chico. <laughs> quite i one of the worst anyways you're welcome back um i think we're going to continue um this video is just a continuation of what we did in the last one remember in the last video we kind of you know blended this image to the background if you didn't watch that video or you missed yesterday's series it is your business not mine <laughs> i am not sending you the video <laughs> you have to pay me tight <laughs> i'm just kidding but I'm, I'm not kidding anyways so um yeah with this one, what we're going to do, as usual, we're going to tap on the image and we're going to go to adjust, all right? And, okay, so what we're going to do here is, our goal is basically to make it blend with this one, right? And the first thing I want to do is actually to use warmth, all right? I don't know why the warmth here actually went here for some reason. Earlier, I did that by mistake earlier. I want to, like, reduce this, all right? As you can see, as I've reduced, it looks a little bit more bluish, right? It looks more bluish, right? I'm going to reduce the blur, like, like you know, to keep it a little bit sharp. Remember, keep it between minus 10 and 0. Minus 10 and 0, people. All right? <laughs> Be cool. All right? So, I'm going to increase the saturation a bit. Normally, um, in some cases, I don't know why this is actually misbehaving let's see okay cool in some cases I actually like reduce the um, saturation to make it look like this but it's kind of like gonna kill the um brightness or something or some I, I you see guys i need the i need an english teacher because my english should be <laughs> but anyways anyways yeah so that's gonna increase the saturation probably by 10 or 15 yeah right and i'm just going to reduce the um warmth a little bit more let's let's talk about some other tools i've not actually touched here uh which is the tint if i want to use the tint in this scenario i want to make it to go to this bluish side all right and because i've actually used um warmth it actually looks more blue than it's meant to be so with this tint here it actually you see it looks kind of bluish let's use the tint for now um there's also x process which is um, an amazing and also not so amazing <laughs> to the times um i don't know what it does what i do sometimes i just changes the color and it makes it look sweet at times right so um i'm gonna go over here to contrast i'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit all right and i think with that i might need to i, I don't know i've gotten addicted to this one so if i'm not using it i actually feel like weird so i'm going to reduce the warmth here and let's make these things to be zero when i've gotten comfortable then i can use it right i'm going to now reduce the warmth here all right i'm going to increase the shadows rather than reduce it Right, using the shadow make it look too dark. I don't want that. I want to just increase it a little bit. Right. I'm going to go to contrast. Um not going just going to reduce the brightness a bit. Or I'll be increase it now. Nah, let's just leave it like this. I think the case here is more of reducing the warmth. Alright? Reducing the warmth. It actually looks more better when you reduce the warmth. Um also going to increase the highlight because i like it as i increase this highlight this new tones that um sorry um, let me take my pen this new light tone that come up here uh, i really love that so i'm going to do that again so that you guys can see so as i'm increasing you can see that light is coming up right i really love that i really really love that all right especially if that's a uh, for this background i'm just going to flip it a bit all right let's just go to flip and take it to this other side so as you can now see like this light source is now coming from here going to touch your face and then this place is now the dark part which actually i think this is actually better and it looks more quite fun here right i was going to tap on this and yeah should i increase the saturation no just leave it the way it is so I think we just went 15 there. Um make this blue. Nope. Let's leave it the way it was. And I think that should be probably be all. Because there's so much not not really 
that much anything to do if i use vibrant on this it's Ugh. it would have looked cool if i use vibrant here but let me say let me show you something uh, this place is light right and this place is not also light why this place is not dark it's not going to make sense it's not going to look realistic at all and the essence of things like this is to make it look realistic you know as you're adding the other depths and whatever it's make it look realistic not amateuristic right the goal is to be a professional designer not to look amateur all right i think i'm also going to in some future videos i'm going to be talking about design mistakes we make and how it makes people to look more amateur than they think you know when somebody creates a design in their mind ah i don't blow i don't create better design but in the real hey in, in should i say in realistic sense oh my benjamin you gotta learn english oh. <laughs> i need to choose Igbo or english anyways um yeah in the realistic sense it really doesn't make sense in any ways all right and uh, it just needs to be said and i need to just probably be doing this in videos rather than people just coming to my dm and saying sir please read it <laughs> come to my my dm again i'll break it <laughs> anyways yeah 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 so um this is this for now right um i think if i go any other higher here it's actually look quite odd i'm just going to come here and copy the shadow we did over here i'm just going to click on this more here and i'm going to click on copy all right and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to click on paste right and we're going to take it to the back no not just back ones right and we're just going to adjust this for it to kind of like you know and then and i'm going to increase the blow of this shadow even more all right so it looks more real all right increase the blow of the shadow and there would be not been one advanced thing that i would have done here but i think i would have confused you guys a lot all right like i said please go and beg melina pekins or whatever her name is i beg beg her to add some new stuff in canva but anyways this is just the tip of the iceberg and this is basically how to make your photos blend to um to the background in canva right so i hope i have convinced you and not confused you in this video um thank you guys for always staying to the end of the stuff i wonder how you actually listen to me to the end but anyways you guys are the best all right so see you guys in the next one much love and goodbye